My name is Eugene Pendon. I work as an artist in Montreal, where I'm known as Gene Pendon. My parents are Joe and Myrna, and they came to Ottawa, Canada in the late 1960s as nurses, where they married soon after and had myself and my younger brother David uh, five years later. Um, after growing up in Ottawa, I moved to Montreal, where I went to art school and worked as a visual artist and art director and embarked on many projects over the last 25 years, uh, which included traveling as an artist to Europe and the US, Asia, Latin America, and even the Canadian Arctic. In uh, Montreal, I often collaborated and consulted on mural and painting installations and visual art concepts for projects in the Canadian public domain. And uh, more recently, I proposed concepts for the 21-story the mural tribute to Leonard Cohen on Crescent Street in 2017, and the redesign of the entrance of the John Lennon and Yoko Ono suite for the Queen Elizabeth Hotel in 2019 uh, for the historic 50th anniversary bed-in event. As a first-generation Filipino-Canadian, my relation to the culture of the Philippines has naturally changed uh, relative to different eras in my life. In my youth, I had a sense of our family bond with my relatives in the Philippines uh, from family trips every few years. And I had a, an idea of the proximity to my parents' migration and knew that our family were newcomers to Canada. And uh, the Ottawa Filipino expat community is still very active and uh, well organized and at that time it was small, it made up of a small group of families from the Filipino nursing labor force migration of the 1970s. So this community's events, the festivals and the holiday celebrations, all of, all of those things contributed to my early sense of culture, values, tradition and how and gen, a general idea of how the Filipino diaspora remain connected. However, the scope of my knowledge of the broader Filipino identity was limited to experiences in Canada. It wasn't until I started to do travel with my art, where I met Filipinos from all corners of the world and all capacities of culture, that I began to understand how Filipinos adapt uh, through a certain outlook on the world and carry resilience. Um, working briefly in Manila and Hong Kong, as an artist I met creators who work closely with the Filipino identity and history, and I also met others who had left the Philippines for education or work abroad, but uh, returned to their homeland to continue with their careers and contribute to Filipino contemporary society. I began to understand in a broader sense this common trait, the quality of reaching to overcome. With that also came the understanding of the shared pride in its success in contemporary society and cultures in the Filipino economic diaspora, uh, compelled to migrate abroad and adapt and embrace new worlds. Uh, within that vast mentality lies the impetus to grow and contribute through contemporary society and culture and finding identity through simple virtues, essential and uh, uncomplicated. Uh, and the identity is a work in progress as the diaspora transforms from an economic one to a culturally complex and dynamic one. And with that, there's uh, so much to look forward to. My name is Eugene Pendon, and I'm proudly Filipino.